I want to talk about Class of the Elite Season 4 and whether or not it is dead upon arrival. And yes, we got the most recent poster picture, right? There's no other news other than Season 4 is confirmed with this picture. And there's a lot of people on both sides. I think mostly really sweaty light novel elitists that are very upset, but the many anime only are happy about it. And there's a couple of reasons why this could or could be bad, right? There's a lot of sentiment again that people, this is the video I made of talking about it, right? People are like, oh my god, the front middle guy looks constipated, right? Uh, damn, we're getting, what, what is it? It's gonna be shit, right? Please leave my anime alone. Don't fucking ruin it. Just hoping the studio is actually the one doing the visuals because they done, done my boy hose and dirty. So, if we look at the picture, I got a couple comparisons, right? Not these. So, this is a picture that I got where it's comparing the, I think, most recent art of the new studio, clearly not Studio Lurch, doing it versus the actual light novel art. And I think the hate is overblown. Just like, look at the characters and do you feel like it's botched? No. The models are different from what we're used to, for sure. I agree. But there's like a lot of overblown hate acting as if this is just completely ruined. I think that it's like a 7 out of 10, right? This isn't like amazing, right? This is not just fucking amazing. Here, let me move up his here, right? Look at the comparison between these two characters, right? I don't think it's amazing, but I also don't think it's like the worst thing possible. So there's a lot of like um, over-exaggerated hate based on just the poster picture alone. But for sure, I could understand why people will be concerned because like, think about it. Seasons one, two, three, the anime, a lot of people are upset about it. As an anime only, when I watched Class of the Elite, I just fell in love with this show. I made so much content of Class of the Elite. In fact, if you even go to my life tab, we straight up do cut Class of the Elite light novel shit a long time ago, right? And as I got to know more of the cut content that was obviously cut out from the anime, the more I realized how bullshit it was. Because they were cutting out so much of my favorite Koenji moments. So much important monologues from Ayana Koji. And there's a lot of different things thematically they did to kind of like change how the characters, the plot supposed to go. Due to, I don't know, the anime director going a different route. I understand those concerns. But Studio Lurch has created three seasons of anime that was successful enough. And yes, you are the vocal minority if you're straight up upset by this. Vast majority of anime onlys, the average monkey watching this shit, they think it's fun, they think it's mysterious, and they think that it's a big brain show. But of course, if you've read the light novel, you're gonna be upset because the light novel is godlike. But realize that the anime is not for you. You are not the target audience. The anime is simply a tool. Just like how Iona Koji would use everyone else as a tool, the anime itself is a tool to advertise the light novels. And the anime has fulfilled its purpose in even having a season 4 come out, right? I don't have the exact numbers with me right now. I don't have the exact metrics to prove whether or not season 1 to 3 was successful enough to call it that amazing. But it's good enough to get till season 4. That's gotta be something. A lot of people, again, anime onlys, they're happy about it. Light novel elitists, they're upset about it. I understand your points and... Here's the issue. Even though we have a separate studio, right? Based on the cover art, it's a separate studio, right? It's not Studio Lurch. And this could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. Ideally, right? My hope, right? My hope is that they're going to make it so much better. All the dialogues are not just going to be static character just sitting in a room. It's going to be a fucking Monogatari-esque. It's going to be like Kaguya-sama. Where people are yapping, talking, but the anime is doing crazy animations to make those scenes more vivid. And the fight scenes, I hope, are also amazing. I hope the pacing is great. I hope they include all the important dialogue and lore from the light novels for us to enjoy the show, right? With world perspective. But it could also go the complete different route. This could be a monkey's paw situation. A monkey's paw situation is you wish for something. People have been begging for Studio Lurch to be gone and for a new studio to take over. And your wish has been granted. But a monkey's paws implies that your wish will not be granted in the way that you wanted. This could be worse than Studio Lurch is what I'm getting at. You know what I mean? Season 4, no matter how much you talk shit about Seasons 1 to 3, it's done a good enough job to get here. And this could be entirely ruined 
due to the new studio. Now, I hope that's not the case, right? But in my life, I like to perceive, I like to prepare myself like this. I hope for the best, but I expect for the worst. And if we look at the different studios, of course, there's no news. Some little fun things to think about. What studios do you guys want, you know, this to anime, uh, to be animated? Personally, I've been watching a lot of A1 Pictures anime. SAO specifically, right? We have Maki and Hero, a heroine that's been amazing. Solo leveling was this year as well. A1 Pictures has been delivering such fucking good anime, but I don't think this is really A1 Pictures, right? We're just kind of just like a, doing like a, a dream uh, studio right now to do a Class of the Elite. Maybe like Ufotable would be too much. Imagine the Anakoji versus Ryu fight if they're Ufotable. That'd be fucking crazy, right? Madhouse or Mappa, you know they're gonna put their fucker, you know, workers to work, so the product's gonna be pretty half decent, right? Studio Trigger be crazy. Studio Shaft. Think about Studio Shaft. Think about the Monogatari fucking head tilts as the characters talk. I think that Shaft would be fucking amazing for Class of the Elite, but that is a dream. That is an absolute fucking dream. What is this? Some other studios here? Dogakobo. We love Togakobo, right? Roshitere, Oshinoko, they fucking deliver. White Fox, I've seen them just pop off with ReZero, so I probably have, you know, hope for them, right? What other? Cloverworks. We know that Cloverworks is giga cracked, too, if you've seen, you know, Elusive Samurai this season, but there's a lot of different seasons, sorry, different anime studios that could, you know, deliver Class of the Elite, but I wonder what it is. Why are they keeping it a secret? Why? with the anime uh news keep the studio as a secret even though we have the cover art what does that imply it implies that they're scared of backlash because this is the first poster being presented and if they you know uh announce that hey it's actually um toei animation is doing it and people are like oh no please no I i'm not sure or the studio has not been confirmed yet and this is simply the cover art by a bunch of contracted people? I don't know, but the details are not fleshed out just yet. Maybe there's more news to be had? Because it just kind of seems kind of weird that like, they would announce season 4 with the cover art. And who drew the cover art? Probably the fucking studio, but they're keeping that a secret. Again, just remember guys, keep your expectations low, but hopes high. I do not think, to summarize this, right, I do not think that this cover art is bad. I think that this is like a 7 out of 10. Nothing peak, nothing bad. It's like slightly above average. And if you actually look at the pictures too, I think that like this girl, like, look at the positioning. Maybe 1, 2, 3, because they're closer to Anokoji. They're gonna be like the helpers, right? Maybe they'll be neutral or they'll be like, you know, allies for Anokoji based on the placement, right? We have a cheeky looking kid here. We got Uchiha Sasuke over here. And we have a Kudere looking girl. And then down here, I think, is the main antagonist to this show, maybe. Because it's like the positioning, right? They're the furthest away from Anokoji. And this girl is looking like an absolute demon. People call her Chisaki. I'm not sure if this is Chisaki, but a lot of people are hyping, I think, this girl up, right? This guy is looking like fucking Ryu and 2.0. And this girl, it, based on her look in her eye, she has a very stern look. This girl, I think, is Kudere, or maybe it's just like aloof and absent-minded. This girl seems very direct, and this girl seems very fucking cheeky, and this looks like Ryu in 2.0, so maybe bottom three here are like more, like the further away from Anokoji, the more uh, hostile and antagonist they are, but the closer they are, the more allies they are. I'm not sure, but again, guys, let's not like blow things out of the water just yet. Let's wait for the news to arrive. Let's give the enemy a chance. But just remember, just because the studio's changed does not mean that your anime has been saved or it's it's going to fail. In fact, it could be a monkey's paw. Or in Season 4, you're going to wish that Studio Lurch comes back.